Hello everyone, this is JJ here, and we made it, it's 2023, a new year full of nunchaku, new tricks, new skills, new combos, whatever you desire, whatever your ambition is to go into this year and make it better, you know, make it more fun, put more stuff in your routine, um, join a tournament, you know, the options are all there um, these days, you know, when you're doing nunchaku freestyle, all right? I want to thank you again in the name of myself, uh, Ken Hill and Jason Jaded, you know, to choose for us again, you know, to watch our videos um, and, you know, to support us if you can. So that being said, I want to jump into the first trick of this year, which is going to be a doubles trick. And the doubles tricks, um, well, looks like this. It's a basic stick roll. Now, we already saw a basic stick flick, um, which I tutored you um, at the end of last year, which is quite hard. It's, it's ex expert level. This one is more ongoing, and I think everyone can do it with a little bit of, you know, continuous practice. So first of all, with your dino hand, you're gonna make a stick. So for me, that's two fingers around the rope. It can be most people, I guess it's gonna be three fingers. Um, doesn't matter if you use rope or chain, you're gonna make a stick. With this one, you're gonna come closer and you roll around it, all right? So you can go from a hand roll, roll around, or you can go directly around the stick. So as you can see, there are two ways to do this basic stick roll. Okay, um, now first of all, with your dino hand, for me that's my left hand, we're always going to make a stick. Now, not always, you can also, you know, create a stick in a different way. For example, like this in the Bruce Lee position. It's that way that I ex executed this basic stick roll um, at the live uh, world champs in 2019 in France, uh, where I, by the way, took, a, took second place. Um, I think it was a quite a different, maybe not super unique, but another way to execute this trick. But I maybe these days prefer to make a stick. Okay, with our right hand, we're gonna do always the same. We're gonna start with the basic hand roll, and then we're gonna use the loop to go towards the stick. Because right now, um, you know, in the content of this video, I'm gonna show you um, what I think is the easiest way to execute this one. And it's a direct way coming from the positive grip. Okay, so here you hold the stick, here you do vertical hand rolls. You know, with a vertical hand roll, you always do this loop. You see? You do the vertical hand roll, and then you loop, loop, to go back into this position. To keep on doing continuous vertical hand rolls. All right? So um, that's a really good way. It has the right speed. You're in the momentum. When you do the loop, you're going to aim towards the stick. Now there are two ways to do this basic stick roll, to really do the roll on itself. So you hold it in a positive grip, but you might want to leave a little space here so you can connect stick to stick. That means that the first time you will hit the stick to start the, the rolling, and actually it can benefit from you, that's what I want to say, when it goes stick to stick first, all right? What I saw in the slow motion of earlier videos of me is that, that I prefer to go directly rope to stick you know, I think technically, theoretically, that's a little bit more dangerous because you're gonna interfere at quite some speed directly on the rope and then the sticks can really can collide and it can go all the way or it can go always. Uh, that's maybe better to say. So I would say for a higher success ratio, you are the tool, play with that. But further on, there's nothing hard about this trick. That's exactly when I wanted to make this video as my first video here in January. So with your right hand, that's a trick we all can do. Vertical hand rolls. Go to the loop and roll around the stick that you've made. All right. So we're going to see another time here in the slow motion. So really focus on that clean vertical hand roll and with your dino hand, make that stick and see where do you want to hit it. Maybe you want to hold it more in front of you. Maybe you want to hold a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher. Maybe you want to come with the the stick, so with your dino hand closer to the right side, where your dominant hand is trying to aim stick, stick, or rope stick, to make the roll happen, that's up to you. So I would say really play with that. I think it's a really nice trick to add to your trick set. And you know, let's face it, it brings your game to a higher level. And that's all that we want to achieve in an easy way, an efficient way, and in a smart way. Alright, up to the next one. Bye-bye.